Good morning, folks, and welcome to another edition of City Hall Live. I am Joe Abeta, and today we have Rod Lambert, the manager of the Community Gallery, the Santa Fe Community Gallery. How you doing, mm. brother? I'm good. Thanks for having me. No, thank you for coming on. Appreciate it. No worries. It. Yep. yep. My pleasure. Yes, you, we, you host us every week here in the mm -hmm. gallery, and uh, we always great, have great art in here, too, as well as our backdrop and, you know, as our set. So thank you. I try to work on my set design for y'all specifically. Yes, yeah. it's very, very good. So, <laughs> so what's, what's, what's this, this new uh, show called here? It's called a Silk Purse Sow's Ear. So uh -huh. it's an exhibit featuring the art of the found object. So it's 23 artists, and each artist has gone and found some um, item that was a, a found object and converted it into high art. So it's okay. not necessarily a recycled show where you're turning trash into treasure, uh -huh. but it's kind of transforming an object in, into a completely new piece. So for example, mm -hmm. if you can give me something, what do you mean by found object? Like you just are walking down the street and go, oh look, an anvil. I'm mm -hmm. gonna make a piece of art out of that. Yes, I could convert that into something really cool that maybe even transforms it into something where you don't even recognize the object anymore or something where it's pretty obvious. Like there's a pair of tennis shoes that have been converted into a couple of little bird pigeon sculptures. Okay. So it's kind of one of those. It's a transformative. There's even a piece of trash that was found. It's a, an ad for migraine medicines mm -hmm. that they found on the street and then they ended up digitizing it in their computer and blowing it up and turning it into this like poster kind of piece of art. So gotcha. Okay. The full gamut. All right. So, and that's uh, that started. When did the, the show start? March fifteenth was the first day, and it runs through May twenty seventh. Okay. So people have till next week. They can they can come on by. This, no. Oh no, no, May twenty seventh. A month and that's a week. right. I'm always thinking that we're in May. We're not. We're in April. There you yeah, go. Getting me old fast. Nah, I'm sorry about that. No so, worries. So so okay. So that's great. And mm -hmm. um, and they can come in. And you guys are open every day. Uh, Monday through Friday from ten a.m. to five p.m. Okay. And then on Saturdays from eight thirty a.m. to four thirty p.m. Okay. Great. So only so closed on Sundays. Yeah. So come on down. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Yeah. It'd be a lot of fun. And it's a range of artists. Um, there are several new artists that have never been in a show before. Oh, cool. In the gallery. So that's really exciting. I think now that we've gone to the digital application process, mm -hmm. it's kind of opened up the uh, people who apply and submit portfolios. Yeah. and made it easier, I think. Yeah. And so I think it ends up ensuring that we have three to five new artists every show that have never been in a gallery show before here. So that's, that's exciting. That's great. Some is fresh there, voices. Is there a, is there a, a wait list in, in some cases for artists that keep on trying and trying and want, want to get on. You know, it's kind of like the, I don't know, that uh, I'm trying to think of who the uh, soap opera artist was. That, uh, oh, Susan Lucci? Uh, says Susan Lucci. <laughs> yeah, are there any Susan Luchis Lucci of artists that, that try to get into the, you know. I think it's a situation where oftentimes those artists, they just haven't found the theme that fits them yet. Gotcha, gotcha. And then I think once it comes, it's like it's a full on, like everything that they can it's submit epiphany, from their right? portfolio kind of fits. Gotcha. And I think the committee often sees that. And, they're, and it's a situation where the committee reviews the five images that they propose mm -hmm. for each show. Mm -hmm. And it changes. So if they make new stuff, the next show they can submit five new images that maybe appeal to that thing. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, great. So that, that's going on until May 27th. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else do you guys got going here in the uh, Arts Commission? Um, well, in relation to this show, there's some programming that we're doing. Mm -hmm. So we like to do programming that goes along with the exhibits. Mm -hmm. And it's usually one piece of programming per month that's a free opportunity for the public to come in and be able to interact with the show on a different way than just seeing it. Okay. And so we have two of the artists that are in the show. Jeffrey Gorman will be our first. Okay. Um, he'll be on the 24th, and it'll be at 9 here in the gallery that's mm -hmm. a Wednesday night from 6 to 8 p.m. and he's gonna kind of do a slide lecture presentation about his studio practice and how okay. he converts all of these pieces into these fantastic animal sculptures. And okay. Jeffrey's had a long practice in New Mexico and represented by local galleries and so he's well informed on both how artists can promote themselves professionally, but also on how his process works. So it'll be a great one for the public and other artists, I think. So, so with, with, uh, so, and that's open to the public? So that's open to the public. So you can just be maybe a, a, a very novice artist and you want to come and get some tips from the expert. Or somebody who's a fan of Jeffrey who wants to like see how does he get from a pile of materials to, to this that. fantastical, you know, deer. And so it's a, it's a, yeah, so it's it's a great demonstration for mm -hmm. them for people 
actually to have a little bit if you're a fan of his mm -hmm. you can see what he ask him questions and and he's constantly doing workshops all over the country so okay. he has kind of a fan base does he that are does, following him so this should be a you good, can take a, a selfie with him if you want mm, probably i'm sure i'm sure he'd love to instagram that that'd be great that, yeah. that's awesome and that happens when uh wednesday the 24th of april of uh, wednesday the 24th so next week so next week next wednesday mm -hmm. all right great and then, who's the uh, other artist you said? The gentleman who made the birds. Okay. Um, he's actually new to the gallery. He's young, Sean Paul Gallegos. Mm -hmm. And um, he actually, I think, is from, originally he's from Pinasco. Okay. But he moved to Brooklyn, I think, because that's where his mother was from. And he ended up going to Juilliard and taking classes in um, costume design mm -hmm. and became like a kind of a, from what I understand, a theater costume maker. Oh, wow. Um, on Broadway. And so now he's moved back, but he's converting. He's going to do a workshop where you can come in and bring them, you know, I think it's, he asks if you have a pair of sewing scissors to bring them, fabric scissors, mm -hmm. and then you're going to do some hand stitching work and he's going to have kind of these, I think, sets that you can convert into a little kit that you can convert into a sculpture. What a story to be able to, you know, be from Penasco mm -hmm. and then go to Brooklyn and then become a uh, uh, costume designer or seamstress or uh -huh. what would it be? I think he's probably like a, he was probably a, a designer of sorts because I think it was a certain degree because he's very like sculptural in his yeah. work. So Man, that's a success story there, huh? Yeah, he's great and he's really humble and quiet and, you know, so uh, he's just, you had to kind of talk to him for a minute to get that story out of him at the opening and that's when I was like, you're going to do a workshop, right? That's so, awesome. So we arranged it. So when is that? That is May 4th. May 4th. That's okay. a Saturday. Okay. So that'll be our last event from 1 to 4 p.m. Free? Free. Limited space? Um, I would recommend RSVPing, but it's not necessary, and I think he's probably going to make 20 kits so okay. people can actually work on it and then maybe take it home if they don't and finish you, it. And you can just come in and RSVP yeah. if you wanted to here, yeah. right? Or email us. Okay. Great. That's awesome. Great. So uh, those two, pro, uh, you got that program going on. Mm -hmm. Anything else going on? I'm um, trying to think. Um, we have the community supported art program. Mm -hmm. So let's go through all the numbers. We're selling 50 shares. That's right. And then you get nine pieces of art when okay. you buy a share. Okay, and it's yours to keep, right? And it's, it's yours not, to it's keep. It's not like a, a rental Netflixy type thing, right? Mm -hmm. So we're doing distribution events. So we did one in February. So the first three artists brought their 50 pieces in and we distributed to that one. We have the second one coming up tonight um, and then there'll be one more in June. And if you end up getting in and buying a CSA share now, mm -hmm. you'll still get all nine. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Great, and, then, and, and they're randomly selected, right? Exactly. Yeah, By, they usually are numbering all the pieces and then you draw a number when you come in as a shareholder okay. and then that's the piece you get from each artist. Awesome. And you have a list of the artists that... that, that it's on the website. On the website. Okay. Yeah. Website is... Um, artscommission.gov. Okay. All right. Awesome. SantaFeArtsCommission.gov, I think. SantaFeArtsCommission.gov. If not, you can... Uh, we got the yes from uh, Leanne yeah. right there, so yeah. Yeah. Great, awesome. That's so, how I was looking at it. No, no, that's room. fine. No, that's fine. It's okay. We're not going to fake it My around or anything. My database is over there. We're not, we're, you know, we're, we, yeah. there's people behind us, folks, that are working and all that uh -huh. stuff. And so, we're, uh, you know, that happens. But, okay, great. So that's awesome. And so, they're $500 a share. Okay, $500. Great, great deal because mm -hmm. you get nine pieces of original art mm -hmm. from the artists. You can hang up, you can keep, put into your house. It's a good deal. Or they make great stuffings, t uh, stocking stuffers in at Th Christmas time. That's right. Want to pass it, pay it forward to or someone. Or Christmas in July. Yeah. That type of thing. Start time. now. Awesome. Great. Okay, so let's recap. We got the gallery going mm -hmm. on right now, the show here. Awesome show of found, of found uh, pieces, uh, found objects. objects that have been turned into art that's going on here right now. That's happening. We got the two, the demonstrations that are happening on the 24th. 4th of April and the and the 4th of May, mm -hmm. so check those out. And then also we got the shared art, right? What's mm -hmm. it, is that what it's called? Uh, the community supported art. Community so it's based on the art. agriculture model. Gotcha, awesome. We also have, um, in the summer, just to give you a little teaser, we have Happy Little Clouds. So it's skyscapes of New Mexico. So it's 31 artists whose work are focusing on not the landscape necessarily, but turning the lens up. So it's all about the sky and the clouds. The big and the, skies of yeah, New Mexico. Yeah, the big skies and the color and the light. That's so, awesome. So that'll be a good um, crowd pleaser for, I think, summer visitors. But 
the artists are pretty enthusiastic yeah. as well. A lot That's of people, a, large a lot of people that visit here, they're always talking about the big skies of New Mexico that we take for granted. That's right. We do take it for granted mm -hmm. living here all the time, right? Exactly. But we so, take we take the plaza for granted too because we just work right up the street from it, and we you know <laughs> exactly pretty much just go there to get a frito pie or fajitas or something. So mm, are now I'm um, dumplings apparently. Oh, dumplings! Ooh, interesting. So, uh, but I, that runs June, July, August. Okay. All right. Great. Well, Rod, thank you so much. Sure thing. My pleasure. Appreciate you coming on, feeling yeah. in, brother. Come see us. All right. Take it easy. Yeah, you too. And folks, thank you for joining us today on City Hall Live. I want to thank Christina and Adrian for always working hard behind the scenes. And folks, have a great week. Have a safe week.